you know, dear friends, you will Humphreys here to share with you a little short message from the word of the Lord God. And I pray for it. God bless this message as it goes out all over the world. Praise God. Bless all those that hear, and may they bless you. I'm speaking to you on the fact that we can uh, <clears throat> ask this question, are all religions the same? Are they all religions? Do all religions really come from God? Let me tell you right now that there are many religions in the world that are not coming from God. And we know this by the Bible and believe it. And we know it by experience in dealing with God. And so we find this truth over in the book of Isaiah in the, 40, in the Old Testament, verse 44. We read these words that, that are very uh, informing to us. And uh, he said, And I am the, and the Lord of hosts. I am the Lord of hosts. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other God beside me. And so there is no other God beside the Lord our God. He is one God, and yet He's a God in three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we need to recognize this as, as reality because God is God, and He is God alone. There is only one God, and that God is is a God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, I and the Father are one. And so it's important that we see these things and recognize where we're going with it. Over in the book of, uh, of uh, Romans, in the uh, fourth, fourth, uh, fifth chapter of Romans, it says this, And God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And so it is that we are, we receive the righteousness of God through faith in Christ. For if when we were his enemies, we were justified by faith, now being justified, we shall be saved forever through him. If the Lord loved you and gave his life for you when you were a sinner and cared not for him, now that you belong to him, now that you've been born again and you love him and he loves you as his own, then he surely will save you and forgive you and give you strength every day. He is your Lord. You have the righteousness of God in you because you believe in Jesus. Believe in him and you'll live forever. Yes, there's only one. There's a lot of religions, but there's only one Christ. And he makes all the difference. He makes all the difference. I was uh, visiting visiting a man in a hospital about a week ago and he's in a very serious condition and I asked him this question I said if you died today do you think you'd go to heaven he said well I think so I said well why do you think so you see when you ask that question you're going to get the answer that will inform you pretty well whether that person's a Christian or not why do you think you're going to heaven and uh, some will say, because I'm a good person. The Bible says we don't get there on by our good works. We get there on by the grace of God. And that grace of God is, most, is revealed at Calvary more than anywhere else. When on that tree, Jesus bled and suffered and died for our sins. And he rose again. Praise God. When you believe in Jesus, our risen Lord, when you repent of your sins and Praise God, believe in Jesus that he died for you. You're saved forever. And so it says that we are saved by grace through faith and that not of ourselves. Oh, praise the Lord. Over in the 62nd Psalm, it says the Lord is my God and my refuge and he is my God forever. My Lord, my God is my refuge and he is my God forever. That's important. Now we need to know that there's many religions in the world but there's only one Christ and he's the one we have to know and believe in to get to heaven the Bible says over in John 14 chapter John in the first fourth verse uh, Thomas asked him and said how can we know the way the way that we need to go and Jesus said I am the way 
the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. And henceforth you shall see the Father, because when you see me, you've seen the Father. And so Jesus is placing himself there in line with the Father. He and the Father are one. And so he said, I'm the way. He's the one way, the only way to heaven, because he's the only one that paid for our sins on that cross. Because the Bible said, without the shedding of blood, God will not forgive sin. He shed blood for you and me who believe in him. And then he rose from the grave, and he's alive today and gives life for all that believe in him, eternal life. And praise God, he's the only one that came out of the grave alive. And so he is the way and he's the truth and the only way to the Father and to heaven. Now, some people may say, well, that's awful narrow. It is narrow. I agree. But truth is narrow. Two and two make four. That's the truth. Now, you can say, well, why, why can it make four and a half? Four and a half? No. Can it make five? No. Well, you're, you're narrow. <laughs> no, truth is narrow. And Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth the life, and no man comes to the Father except by me. And so he's the one way that we must have. Now, are there many different denominations in, we're facing today in our world? I have been for many years, different denominations. Well, what, what is the answer to all these denominations? Well, we don't have time to go into all of them, but I'll just say this, that uh, Jesus Christ is the one that makes the big difference. The Bible says over in John in the third chapter, <clears throat> verse 6, uh, 6 to 17, He that believeth on the Son of God is not condemned. But he that believes not on the Son of God is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the Son of God. So we need to believe. Repent and believe. And repentance and faith go together. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and you shall be saved forever. Now this is the truth. This is the truth. This is the one way to heaven. It's not enough just to say, I believe in God. The, uh, the, is, the uh, Israel, Ismail, is, Islam, uh, followers of Islam and Mohammed, they believe in one, they believe in a God, they call him Allah. Krishna, they believe in gods. Buddha believes in gods. But we, as Christians, must believe that Jesus Christ is the one and only way to God, the Father, and to heaven. And so believe in Jesus, and you'll live forever. That's the best thing. That's the best thing. Someone asked John Wesley one day, Wesley built a Methodist church in England by the power of God. Somebody asked Wesley, uh, what is the greatest thing that you have learned and that you try to teach through, the, through, the, through your ministry? And he said, the greatest thing is that Jesus is with us. Jesus is with us. And that's a great thing. Praise God. This great God that came down from heaven and saved us and gone back to intercede for us, he's with us today. He's right where with you right now. He loves you and he's not going to leave you. When you believe in him, you're his forever. And you're the only way. He's the only way to heaven. Acts 4th chapter verse 12 says, There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Believe in him and live forever. He's our rock. He's our hope. And he's our savior. He's our God. <clears throat> Amen. Many religions, but only one Christ. And he's our Lord and our God. <clears throat> Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Oh, let the water and the blood From thy wounded side which flowed Be of sin the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. Oh, nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to thy cross I cling. 
Oh, praise his name for all that is known. Christ must save and Christ alone. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Amen. God bless you and keep you close to him. I want you to pray a brief prayer if you haven't, if you need to pray this prayer, asking God to forgive you and Jesus to come into your heart. Pray a prayer like this and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose up again. I believe he's coming back. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Find you a good church and worship God with his people. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God bless you. God loves you. And I love you. Amen.